Hello happy people, welcome back to Nail Therapy Thursdays. If you all want to see how I got this beautiful turquoise water inspired set with the gold foil flakes using the gel method with dip powders, stay tuned for an amazing tutorial. I'm going to show you all everything you need to get started in doing your nails. So you're going to need a cuticle pusher. I have a wooden one here. Um, I also have a metal one. Um, that has like the scraper on the opposite end. You'll need that. Um, I have an e-file. Um, this is an e-file that I use particularly for um, lightly buffing the surface of my nails. I found that this particular e-file is really good for natural nails, but not necessarily good for working with like fake nails, acrylics, um, things like that. So um, I got this from Walmart. Really good purchase. Happy I have it. Um, you'll also need some alcohol. Um, that's what I use to pretty much prep my nails. Um, you'll need the um, actual gel polishes. So I'm gonna be using Beatles brand. I have the base and top coat. They also have a matte top coat in this uh, set, but I'm just gonna use the regular glossy top coat and base coat. Um, I also have some dip powders here. I'm gonna be doing um, kind of a blue, um, blue kinda sorta ombre-ish. Um, color so you also need your dip powders um this is from gh dip i'm using the colors beyond i'm sorry blue yond and uh tropical cabana um i also have a white uh dip powder um and that's just to kind of clear and encapsulate everything i'm going to be doing a slight design on my nails um and this is kind of the gold flakes i'll be using to um do my design you'll also need some cotton cotton swab, cotton pads. Let me see, okay, put that right here. And then the last thing you'll need, this is actually optional, is some cupcake liners. I just saw a hack on this, um, and I'm actually gonna be using the pour over method this time. Last time I did the scoop method, this time I wanna try the pour over method and see if it works better. So these are all the materials you'll need, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. So, first thing you wanna do is prep your nails. So, um, last night, I actually already uh, shaped my nails how I wanted them to be. I'm trying a new shape actually, and it's more of like the oval, the short oval set uh, shape. I mean, I feel like this one's a little bit crooked, but I tried my best to even it out and couldn't quite get there. So I'm going to just leave that one as it is. But yeah, the cute little oval slash almond shape. So I've not tried this shape before. Well, actually I did, but it was longer. Um, but that set didn't really last long, but yeah, so that's my shape. First thing you'll want to do is, um, push back your cuticles and then lightly, um, buff your nails. After you have all your cuticles pushed back, like so, I'm gonna go in with this e-file and just lightly, um, you know, buff the surface of my nail to remove any shine. I have finished uh, buffing all of my nails. As you can see, all the shine is off of them. I'm gonna spray my hands with alcohol just to remove any excess oils. I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, cotton round to wipe off and just kind of dry out that nail area. This is how I prep my nails for applications like this. I don't typically do any type of primers or anything like that. Um, so yeah, now my nails are ready to go. So first thing I'm gonna do is get my base coat here. I have my base coat and then I also have my top coat. So I'm gonna take my base coat and apply a thin layer to all the nails. Typically what I do is I wipe some off of one side of the brush. I leave a decent amount on and then I'll apply it kind of like to like the middle of my finger and then I'll flatten out the brush and then kind of push it back towards the cuticle area, right? Being sure not to get too close. I make sure I don't touch my side walls or anything. And there we go. So that's that thin layer on that finger. I'm gonna 
cure this for 60 seconds. The nails of the base coat has cured for 60 seconds. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my dip powder. So I'm going to take the dip powder. This is probably something I should have did beforehand, but uh, you'll just wanna stir it around a little bit to make sure that the powder is um, nice and fluffy. So I'm gonna just stir around for a little bit here like so. And this is the color Blue Yond that I'm using. Okay, so I'm going to be doing the pour over method like I stated. So I'm going to do one hand at a time. So what I'm going to do is with this base coat, I'm going to do another thin layer, right? And then I'm just going to pour the powder over top of the thin layer of base coat that I do. Okay, so again, instead of dipping, I'm going to do the pour over method. All right. And you just want to make sure nothing is touching the cuticles. So, like that. And then pour the powder over. Like so. Okay. And tap off the excess. If you see any wet spots, you can pour over again. And the nice thing about this method is, um, you know, you'll catch, you know, the entire... You'll get the entire nail in kind of one swoop motion which I kind of like. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust that off. And what I'm gonna also do is just kind of flash cure this nail for 10 seconds. I'm gonna flash cure it just to kind of set it in place a little bit. So now I'm gonna go back in with my base coat. Um, I'm gonna show you all the design I'm doing here shortly, but I'm gonna go back in with my base coat here and do it all over this nail. Looks good, didn't touch any sidewalls. So then I'm gonna go ahead and pour again. Yeah, this this way is way easier than what I tried to do last time. Oh my goodness. Last time I did the pour one method. Uh, I'm sorry, the scoop method, and it just took forever and a day. The other thing I did last time too was that I cured, I did a full cure in between each coat of powder, and that also took forever, so. Yeah, kind of happy I discovered this method. So I'm going to go ahead and cure this for 10 seconds. The other thing I like about the flash cure is that <laughs> you can kind of still clean up afterwards if you need to. I'm just going to kind of clean that line up a little bit. I'm noticing that. There we go. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and fully cure these nails only because I'm doing a design and I don't want to mess them up. So I'm going to cure these for 60 seconds. I flash cure for 60 seconds. It's dry. Nothing's coming off. So then I'm going to just take my manicure brush and draw, brush off the excess powder. That's looking really pretty. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so this is how it's looking after one coat. And what I'm going to do is I want to do some designs on these two nails. So that's why um, I cured these all the way through. Um, typically, I feel like if you're doing like one color or maybe like if you're doing like solid colors on a few nails. Um, you can just flash cure all of them for 10 seconds and then do the, the whole hand in, but I'm doing designs on these. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I want to do a half and half nail where it'll be half this color blue and half a lighter color blue. So I'm gonna take a piece of tape. This is actually my first time doing this, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm gonna take a piece of tape here. I wanna apply it to the center of the nail, like so. And then what I'll do is um, go in and um, paint the base coat and do the pour over method again. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this side of the tape here. Again, don't wanna touch the cuticle, just wanna get really close. go ahead and just pour over this one half of my nail and tap off the excess right 
and then I'm just gonna flash cure that really quick. So I did eight seconds and I'm gonna just peel that off. Okay, it kind of turned out okay. All right, and so then I think I'm gonna just take my cuticle pusher and try to clean up this line here. So I'm gonna try to go down this line and just scrape off the excess and try to perfect it there. It looks good though. It looks really good actually. So I did a couple of things off camera. I had a little bit of a learning curve to do since this was my first time doing these type of nails. I kinda had to practice a little bit off camera but I think I have it down pack. So I went ahead and did a second coat on these nails and it's literally, I repeated the first step. I applied another layer. I wiped off the excess dust, applied another layer of base coat and just poured it over like I did. Um, when I demoed it the first time. This nail um, this is the one I had to practice off camera. I did a little bit of tape um, as I showed and just painted half the nail and poured it over a few times. Um, I did end up not fully curing one layer before I did the other one. So I don't know if that's going to cause some issues here with peeling or lifting or anything like that. But I won't know that until I kind of wear the nails. So I'm going to demonstrate on this hand how I got it to look like this. Um, but kind of self-explanatory, but I still wanted to show it because I know it's helpful for me when I'm watching um, tutorials um, of how to do it. So with this one, I want either side to be this color um, and then the middle is going to be that light blue color. So I'm going to go ahead and do half of the nail again. Oopsie daisy. So like this. Okay. Okay, I think that's halfway on the nail here. Okay, so like that. And I'm gonna apply this darker color to the outside. So again, I'm gonna go in with my base. Okay. And then I'm gonna just kinda paint the nail like normal, making sure not to touch the cuticle. Oops, off camera. Making sure not to touch the cuticle and to get the side walls here like that. Well, the tape's kind of coming up here. Oops. Okay. okay. I think that's pretty good. And essentially what this does is just kind of acts as a guide for you. So I'm going to take this powder and I'm going to do the pour over method again. Like so. Okay. And then I'm going to just tap off the excess here. Like that. And then I am going to remove the tape because I don't want it to cure with it. And yeah, that, that actually seems to work pretty well in both instances. Um, and then I just want to clean up that line to kind of make it nice and crisp. Like so. And that's been cured for 60 seconds and I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the excess dust. Like so. And look at that beautiful crisp line. Like, yes. I am all the way here for this. Look at that. Look at the focus. There we go. Yeah, that's a crisp line. So that's cool. I got the crisp line on both of them. And I'm going to do one more coat of this. And I'm just going to go... I'm going to follow the line. So I'm going to kind of paint sideways, which is kind of weird, but I want to paint right up to that line, but not touch it. And I have too much gel. So I'm just going to wipe off some of this excess and just trying to straighten it out a little bit here. And then I want to go and not touch the, touch the sidewall or the cuticle. So I just kind of got to maneuver the brush the right way to make sure you, there we go. Yeah, that's fully coated there. And with this, you don't have to worry about if you get uh, the color on both sides because um, the other side's cured anyway, so it's not really gonna pick up any product. It's a tacky layer, but it's not something you will really see. Um, so then I'm just gonna pour over kind of that half of the nail. Like so. Okay. And then tap off the excess. Looks pretty good. I'm going to just put a little bit more on there because it's still looking a little wet. Like 
so. Tap it off. Still looks wet, but I'm gonna go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds. Okay, so that's done curing for 60 seconds. I'm just gonna wipe off the dust from this one. And there you have it. So then what I'm gonna do is uh, follow the line and apply my second color to the middle of the nails. Kind of gonna paint sideways so I don't get any base coat on that other line. It's kind of easy to do once you have that first, um, once you have the, the one side colored because it, it has that layer of thickness that kind of helps you not spill over to the other side. So that's kind of nice. And I want to try to get as close to the sidewall as possible without touching. And since we're working with such a small space, you want to make sure you don't have too much base on that, um, on the nail, so you don't kind of flood the nail with it, um, with all the liquid. Okay, so that's a nice thin coat of the base again. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint both of these nails so that I can pour both at the same time. And then I'm gonna pour over this lighter color. So unfortunately my battery went dead while I was filming the rest of this. So since my camera went dead while I was filming this, I decided to go ahead and demonstrate um, on my other hand. So I'm gonna pick up where I left off in the next clip. So I've done a full cure for 60 seconds. This is what it looks like straight out the lamp. I'm gonna go in, dust off the excess powder, like so. I'm gonna go ahead and do a second, second layer. I wonder why this one looks thicker though. Maybe the, the amount of gel I had on it was thicker, but that's okay. We'll try to fix it with this second coat here. So, again, take your base and just do the same thing. Get up to the line, and once you get it set, you want to pour over. for full 60 seconds these are what the nails are looking like right now um, I went ahead and did my thumbnail off camera and I just want to show you all how I created this design on these nails so I'm gonna go in with another layer of the base coat what I'm gonna do is um, do the middle nails first and I'm just gonna paint over like as if I'm gonna do another layer but this time I'm just gonna flash cure it for like 10 seconds and then I'm going to apply my design to it. So those gold specks, I'm going to apply those to the middle of the nail. But first I want to just apply the base coat again here. Making sure not to touch the cuticles or sidewalls, like so. Right. So we got that. Now I have my gold specks. I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up carefully. Okay. And then I have my cuticle stick. So what I do is I literally, for to be able to pick it up, I just kind of li lightly take the um, base coat out and I just literally just dab it on the stick and it it's a and it's plenty of. Um, and it's plenty to be able to pick up the specs. Actually, before I do anything, I'm gonna just flash cure for 10 seconds. So now I wanna just go in and take some specs here. I don't wanna take a lot. I just wanna start just a little bit at a time and I'm gonna carefully place them along that edge. I, what I like about these specs here is that they tear apart pretty easily. So I'm actually just tearing them apart with my cuticle stick. Don't want it to go too far out. And I'm just placing them carefully. Some are big specs, some are a lot smaller, but just want to pick up what I can and place it on the nail. This is a pretty big one, so this will probably finish off the whole rest of the nail. There we go, like so. 
and I just kind of want to tear that one up so I'm just literally just tearing it up as I place it down and spreading it out like so So I'm just going to try to spread it out as best I can with my cuticle stick here. And that looks pretty good. I kind of want to get that gold speck off my stick like so. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. Oh wait, I meant to cure encapsulate. So next I'm going to go ahead and do the other hand. I, I missed a step or two, but I'm going to correct it with, with this hand here, okay? So I'm going to go in again with the base coat, okay? Flash cure this for 10 seconds. Now that the flash cure is done, take your cuticle stick with your base coat and just kind of dab it right against the handle here. It gets just enough product up for you to be able to... Um, pick up the gold specks and then you just want to go in and carefully pick out your specks and place them on the nail So I'm going to place this one here this way And I'm going to break it apart I'm breaking it apart with the actual cuticle stick on the nail yeah, I really like these flakes because it, it makes it a lot easier to make this design. Like that. And then you just want to give it some space. So I'm just kind of placing them and spreading them out here. Okay, that one looks pretty spread out. And I want to take some smaller specks and just place them on here. Just to kind of fill in the design and fill in some blank spaces here. Um, okay, let's take this little piece here. Right there. Here's good. Come off. There you go. A little bit further over than I want it. But so be it. This little speck don't want to come off. Okay, there we go. Okay. So all these specs are placed now. So that's what it looks like after you've placed all the specs. And now what you want to do is clear encapsulate. So you'll take your clear and encapsulate it. So just a pour over method like the others. The thing you'll do different with this though is you'll want to take your hand and lightly press. You'll want to lightly press the glitter into that clear like so right like that and then just press over the powder one more time that's to get it to lay flat and then also to make sure that it gets completely encapsulated so I'm gonna go ahead and dust that off and I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds so the only thing that's left to do is to wipe off this top coat I'm just touching it to make sure it's completely dry Brush this off, but brush it off very gently just in case some of the specks didn't get encapsulated. Like so. Some of the specks might fall off, but that's okay. And now what you want to do is clear encapsulate all the nails. So you'll go through with the base coat on each nail and then cure encapsulate. Cure for 60 seconds so this is what it looks like after it's cured for the 60 seconds so now you can go ahead and go go on with your brush wipe off that clear top coat and one thing I like about these the dip with the gel method is that honestly you don't even really need to file anything I'm feeling over the nails they feel pretty nice and smooth so from here all you need to do is apply a base coat and a top coat and then you'll get this result so I'm gonna go ahead and do the base coat and the top coat
The nails look really nice, really pretty, and really glossy. These are how my nails turned out. Absolutely love this. Like, these are like some cool, like, aqua looking nails. Um, I am going to come back and update. Since I did this pour over method, I want to see how long these nails last. I've done a nice clean manicure here. I want to update you guys and let you know how long this lasts. But if you all want to do this dip method, I highly recommend it. I do think it's a lot quicker than using the dip powder system and I just love how my nails turned out. Like what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm absolutely loving this look. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I am going to be bringing you all more nail tutorials in the future. Um, just wanted to kind of switch some things up on my channel and bring you more content. I really enjoy watching nail videos so I thought, you know, why not start making some of my own but look how pretty. Love this set. Okay. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Um, let me know if you all have any suggestions, comments on how I can improve on making these videos better for you all because um, they're actually really hard to film. So yeah, let me know. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And yeah, leave me some love down in the comments down below and I will see you all in my next video. Hope you have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye. This has been on my hands for about 13, about 10 days now. This has been on my hands for about 10 days and it's going strong. I don't have any lifting or anything like that. So yeah, this is what it's looking like after 10 days and I'm really happy with that. These nails have been on almost three weeks now and you can see all of the growth that's happened here. Um, these nails have lasted quite nicely. So I definitely think that the gel method using dip powder definitely does work. I feel like I could easily get a month out of this set. However, um, the new growth is bothering me and I am ready for a new set.